All right, y'all, a lot of you come up to me saying, hey, Mr. Ray, how do I download this here uh, Super Mario 64 co-op and use it? It's super easy, bro. First things first, you're gonna go to your browser of choice. You're going to type in Mario 64 co-op. Look at all the Mario 64 co-op, deluxe, boom. There it is, hooray. Click it, boom. This is the site you're gonna be looking at. Super Mario 64 Co-op DX Deluxe. Easy peasy. Download. Go to the latest release on GitHub. So you click there. You go down. Download for your operating system. Steam OS, Windows, Mac. I use OpenGL. Now it also said something here. Drag and drop a Z64 ROM of Super Mario 64 onto the window to get started. Now, that's up to you to find. I can't get you a Super Mario 64 Z64 ROM, but if you go to a fun little website by this name and type that in, I'm sure you'll find it in no time at all, all right? So, Let's go back to this page real quick. And boom. It's just telling you updates. If you have Mac, do Mac, Steam OS, Linux. For me again, I do OpenGL. We downloaded it once, so I'm just gonna delete this one. As you can see, I got a lot of other little skins and things here. So I'm just gonna open up this one. Open file. And then boom. This comes up. All right. What I'm going to do is we're going to open up a document on my computer. And in here, I'm going to drop Mario 64 Co op DX. Take all this stuff here. Now I'm going to just drag and drop it. Boom. Great. Easy. We get access out. We're done. We have Super Mario 64 Co-op DX. All we do now is double click this and the application will open. But what it needs, what it said before, is that it needs this Super Mario 64.z64 ROM. So you would take your Mario 64.z64 ROM and just drag it into there. And then it should open. So it should look something like this. and then it should open right up. Hooray, here it is. Super Mario 64 Co-op Deluxe. Now this is initially kind of confusing. There's a lot of things here. All right, options. If you want to, don't worry about any of this. Player, you can change your name from player. Mine's Ray. And you can change display, controls. I set up my uh, Nintendo 64 controller here. So, and it runs runs really, really, really smooth. You, you have to, you know, you know, take some time and figure that out, all right? Don't worry about nothing else. Then when you hit host, you can hit mods. And this is where it pulls up all the mods you have. This is what you start with. You start with the ability to do character select, faster swimming, hide and seek, arena. You start with this. You start with Mario 74, which is a ROM hack, a really excellent ROM hack. You start with CS is uh, like character, extra characters. Uh, that's a CS is just like a character, a way to character select. So when you get in the game, you can change your skins and your characters, and some of them have different abilities, and it's really, really cool. Now, where you get those and how you use them is super easy, super easy. So let me show you. If you want to play the game, you host, you could do direct connection. I was just playing on live stream with others, so I did co-op net. That's how you play with others online. You set a passcode, and then you're good to go. But when you're playing by yourself, you can just do direct connection, and you can go into your mods about what you want to play. You hit host, and it happens. Ask you for this, you just hit host, and you can play. Hooray, here I am in Super Mario 74, where I left off last time, all right? 
Now, let's talk mods, all right? Let's talk mods. All right, we are back on the Super Mario 64 co-op deluxe site. And we just click right up here where it says mod site. Boop. Hooray, here's where all the mods are. Go on and hit with the favorite so you remember it forever, all right? And CS, character select, custom characters, uh, ROM hacks, and all sorts of different things. The only stuff I use, ROM hacks, see what's going on. I do most of my stuff on traditional ROM hacking. So for me, I go to this site. I do a lot of traditional ROM hacks, so romhacking.com when it comes to Mario 64. Uh, but I am getting more into the PC stuff. Most of the stuff here has already been available there, but it just runs better. Like smoother frame rate, you know, that kind of thing. So if you like your 60 to 120 FPS, you could see if your favorite ROM hacks are here or not. And then you just download them from here. If you want certain characters, bro. 21 pages of custom characters, Mario RPG, the DK crew, uh, Wastelander, Mickey, Mega Man. You have all sorts of stuff. This one's awesome. Super Mario World. This is so cool. So you have all these characters that you can just download. Just scroll down, see what you like, or just hit the search bar, see if you're looking for someone in particular. And then you download them. And then what you do is this. You, let's take Mario World. Let's go Mario World. Download right up here. Boom. Shows up. Hooray. Open file. You bring up where your Mario 64 co-op was. You remember we talked about that? And all you do, open your mods, drag and drop into your mods. That's it. ROM hacks and character select, characters you download, all go in this mod folder. And then when you load up the game, and let's do, let's do a custom, another custom mod too. All right, let's do another like game mod. All right, so let's do Odyssey moveset. That's cool. Gore, gore mode, gore hardcore. Boom, let's download it, right? Here we go, gore hard mode. Boom, there it is, hooray. Load it up. Here's our mods menu. Drag, drop. It's done. Hooray. Go back. Computer remembers where it is. All you have to do, I would make a shortcut if I were you to my desktop. Right click, shortcut to desktop, send to desktop, create shortcut. That's what I do. Double click it. It now recognizes, hey, this is where the ROM file was. You're good to go. Uh, host, mods, Gore, there it is. Click it. You're good to go. Click off 77, Super Mario 74. You also get Star Road, which is nice. Oh, and look, and there's Mario World. Boop. You click that, and now Mario is enabled on your characters. All right, so let's let's jump in here for a second. Um, if you want to join, you hit join. Public lobbies, private lobbies, direct connection. You enter the lobby's password. And you're good to go. So let's dive into Mario 64 Hardcore, right? Now the sign should be trying to eat us. There we go. Character select has 13 characters available. Hooray. Sign tried to kill us. We killed him first. That's how we roll. Hit that pause button. And then when your controller set up, you can hit the R button. Uh, this will tell you who's in the game. But your your like right trigger, which is where mine is, your R your actual R button, will give you your way you can stop hosting, you can resume your options, your mod menu, you can change your mods if you want and then reset. Uh, now this could also bring you to here. So our character select is done. Hooray! You hit pause, then you hit your your Z rather. Sorry, it's my it's my L to my left trigger. So that's where my Z's at on my controller. And you can select the characters. These all came with the game. But look, there's Mario, the one we downloaded. He's right there. All we had to do is drop him in. Just like we did for the, the gore mode, all we did was drag and drop into that mod folder, and it was there. That's it. The same happens with character select. 
So now we got Mario World Mario running around Mario 64 looking great, looking super, looking adorable. And all we had to do is drag and drop it from the website. And that's how easy it is, man. It's that easy to set up and play Super Mario 64 co-op with your friends. Again, if you want to join a lobby, hold on, let's get out of here. Stop posting, get out of here. If you're playing online, you see me playing, you say, hey, Mr. Ray, I want to join your lobby. Join, private lobby, put in that password, search, and you cook, you're good to go, all right? It's as easy as that. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments below. Hope to see you online. Hope you have a good time, all right? I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. I want to take a moment to give a special shout out to the members. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Whether you're a rock star, a superstar, or an all-star, everything you do is appreciated, all right? Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the emojis and the YouTube perks and the Discord perks. And if that stuff sounds kind of cool to you, check it out in the link below. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.